whales can come in, a few of our whales can come in, and we can rise them to the surface. Now why is this important? Think about when you're not feeling well. The doctors get an up-close view of you, right? Our veterinarians can come in and get an up-close view of our killer whales. So we do it for fun all the time. As you can tell, if I were asked, now obviously I can't ask the killer whales what their favorite pool is, they don't speak English, but in my opinion, these two pools are their favorite pool. We have our trainer lounge here, our fish house here, our picnic table where we plan all of our shows. So they're very curious animals. They like to see where we are, what we're doing. But we also make sure this pool is highly reinforcing. We bring them in here for fun all the time. Think about if you're not feeling well or maybe your dog's not feeling well, you can pick up your dog and take him to the vet. Or you have a leash and you can kind of guide them. We need our killer whales to swim in here if they're not feeling well. We can't make them do anything they don't want to do. So we make sure this pool is very reinforcing. I think we've done our job. They're all in here. They can go wherever they want right now. They can swim out, but they're all hanging in here. So shows, shows good job for us. We've done our job. Uh, anyone know what this is? You know. Pee cup. That's it. This is a urine cup. People always ask, what is the hardest, craziest, weirdest, longest behavior that you guys train? This one right here. <laughs> Teaching a killer whale to go to the bathroom at a cop. Any moms out there, any grandparents, you know how hard potty training is. Your kids sort of try to speak English, like they get your body language. Imagine a killer whale that goes to the bathroom, they never think about going to the bathroom. The world is their toilet. <laughs> We have to train them to go to the bathroom in a cup. So what do we do? We sit down and we wait and we wait and we wait for them to go to the bathroom. And we tell them good job and they're like, I didn't do, I have no idea what you're telling me good job. I sat here with you and I didn't do a thing. We do this for eight months, a year, a year and a half. Eventually, every time they see this cup, every time they go to the bathroom, we tell them good job. They start to figure it out over time. Eventually, down the road, about a year, year and a half in, we have shallow areas over there, out in our show pool, back there. We slide them up onto their side, show them the earth up, walk down, put it on their genitals, they paint it, we close it up, we send it to the lab. We get a urine sample from our female killer whales every single day. It allows us to test their hormones, we know when they're cycling, we know the progesterone, estrogen, all of those levels. So this is vital information. We share this with scientists and researchers around the world. We don't need a male urine sample. They don't cycle. If we did, we'd probably flip them upside down and they would go to the bathroom. Just like a baby without a diaper. Um, but this is, I think, the coolest thing we train, the hardest thing we train, and it's really important. So people are always like, why do you talk about urine with the guests? They don't want to hear this, but I think it's really cool. So. I'm telling y'all about peacocks today. <laughs> Do you guys have any questions? I'm the one to ask all the crazy weird questions because I talk about the crazy weird stuff. Yeah. Why, why does that have only She's just relaxing. Ask a question. <laughs> Maybe she does a have a question. and try to do shows like it never seemed to affect her it's like cartilage just like our ears so just a little ear piercing or sometimes you pull that earring out and you're like oh well I guess I'm fine same thing for her so she would try to get away from us and go out and do show we're like just relax for a little bit but she's our high flyer so she's completely fine totally normal it is absolutely healed it's just like a little piercing yeah all right, we're about to rotate here. She's like, look at me. She's like, yes, girl. I talk too much. They always yell at me. Yeah. 
It depends. Every killer whale learns at different speeds, just like you and I. Some of us learn to read really early. Some of us took a little bit more time. I may be able to do a cartwheel. You may not. You may be able to do a backflip. I can never do it. We're all different. We learn at different speeds. So anywhere from a few weeks to a few days to a few months to a few years. It's all different. Yep. All right. She's yelling at me extra now. Y'all better show <laughs> I promise I don't bite much. I love it. I can also 
boys around and you would like to feel how you feel. So right now they actually have access to a couple of their pools, but they are in fact done playing. So we just had a little play session with them a few minutes ago. We're actually uh, gearing it up to change it every single day. Is it cool? Pretty rough, right? A little bit hollow and it's very small. Now, if you guys look over to your left hand side, you're going to see the rest of those toys. You'll see that they come in a variety of shapes and colors. You got it? Pretty big, right? Pretty sturdy. If you knock on it, you'll see it's hollow. Right, it's pretty solid. <laughs> no, knock on wood. Do you guys have any questions over here at all? It's pretty cool to just see them as well. I love seeing the killer whales up close. I think it's 